everybody, it's Tamika. I am here with a guest design team project for Kitty Scrap Post. Owner is Louisa. Um, her YouTube is KSP by Louisa. And I will put a link to her YouTube channel and her blog post where you can purchase this beautiful Valentine paper um, in the description box. Now, um, she does have a couple of videos showing you the paper collection in more detail, but I am just quickly going to go over what it is beautiful um, Valentine paper and actually the theme is or the premise is for Valentine but the papers can be used at any time and just look at this so it's you can use these papers at any time and I printed these papers off um, online I go to um, my local UPS store online I print it online and pick it up so there's usually a coupon code for them but look how pretty these papers are so you can print what you want, how many times you want. This has a box in it. These are just the papers that I have left. They come with a set of tags already with the eyelet in them. There's some postcards and other journaling elements. And um, here's another sheet. I use some of this. This is absolutely gorgeous how she puts the corners at the top. And if you are a shabby person like I am, this is the perfect paper. Look at these gorgeous hearts. Super cute. And then here are some more of the journaling elements. There is, There are some um, sentiments, too, in this collection, too, that you were able to print off. I knew that I was not going to use those, so I didn't print those off. And that's the benefit and the beauty of a digital collection is you can print what you need, how many ever times, and leave what you don't need at the moment. So, um, with all that being said, let me share with you what I created. Yes, honey. Yes, so cute. It's a shabby, chic, um, loaded box. So, we have loaded folder, loaded pocket, loaded bag, loaded envelope. And now, there is a loaded box, honey. Yes, super cute. Um, so, I'm going to go through the items, and then you got, you'll be able to see the box in its entirety. So I made, I used my Cameo and imported the digital file into um, the Cameo and I created um, some paper bags. So this is one of the journaling tickets that I pulled from her collection. And then this is what I did to the front. I used some of the paper to punch a flower or two flowers, added some lace and then a tiny little um, epoxy sticker with some paper on the inside to make like a flower center and I use some lace just to top off the bag and then there is the bag and that's a silhouette file I will put that in the description box if you'd like to use that so I made like a little um, envelope with a little card note tag in there that the recipient is able to pull out and use at their leisure and then I made a second one with the same type of elements. This one I added eyelash trim to, and then more of the ribbon at the bottom. I love that ribbon. And this bag is super cute. And then there's another little journaling card. Adorable. And then there are envelopes in the collection. So I just added some gold foil tape, and then I fussy cut the envelopes out with my scissors. And that's exactly how they come. I didn't do anything extra besides add the tape to the front. And then I added one of her journaling cards on the inside. Super cute. You can leave a little message. You can write a little note. You can use these envelopes for that. And then I cut out um, the second one. This one has a cute little collage on the back. And then the other journaling card. Really cute. I love it and it was very easy to um, fussy cut that out and then here's one of her tags and one of the bows so all I did was add the gold to tie, kind of tie in the gold with everything else I added a gold piece of foil and that's the back and I just backed it up on some I had it printed on laser um, see 32 pound um, cardstock no, no no 60 pound cardstock and then I had them do um, do all of that in 60 pound cardstock, and then I layer the back with some card, personal white cardstock on the back, so it could be sturdy. So I do like um, the laser effect; it's more glossy when I ask them to print it like that. But this has her bowl and her tag on it. All right, 
And then, of course, you can't have a loaded box without some shabby hearts, honey. So I put these in a bag, and then all I did was cut a hole at the top of the bag so that it'll have a fun, interactive element at the top. So then the recipient would just take it out. And then here are my envelopes. They're on one of her tags. I just added a paper bowl for my stash and then some fun ribbon at the top. I like how this already has the look of an eyelid on it. And then here are my shabby hearts. I printed some tiny little sentiments. Um, this one says kind and this one says sweet. And they fit perfectly on this flower collage. I used flowers from... Um, from uh, my stash, recollection flowers, uh, wall orchid craft flowers, and they turned out super cute. Some laces on here. I love making these hearts. And then of course I added my love of stickles on the flowers to make them super shabby. Okay. I went back to the olden days and bought out my stick pin stuff. So I made some stick pins. I put it on another one of her tags. I made a little box where the stick pins can come through um, to try not to poke the recipient. Did the same thing. Cut out a little notch to let the fun elements pop out. And I just backed all of these up on some chipboard just to keep it sturdy. So that's what they look like. I used um, turquoise, pink, gray, and um, cream pearls. Super, super cute. I used some trim, some eyelash trim, and some um, string just to tie that all in together. I love this is one of my favorite sheets of paper, and oh, I just love it. Love it. Okay. Then I had to add some bows to the collection. I used the topper. All I did was fold over some paper, punch it with my Martha Stewart punch. I made one extra bowl to put at the top for decoration on top of some lace. And then I just made this set of six with some beautiful little uh, fuzzy pink centers. And I love how these bowls turned out. I'm not going to take them out of the package because they have the top from there and they're sealed. But Super cute. Look at that paper in the background. That's Louisa's paper. Love it. Really pretty. And then I created a... Open this one up. I think so. Yes, I can. I altered a pretty journal or journal that I made with her pretty paper. And I just got this um, journal from the Michaels $1.50 bin. And look at that gorgeous image up here super cute I layered um, some lace on the front and the back and then I added some of this gorgeous trim I believe I got that from Audrey who was so good all and I just love how it looks it's super pretty and romantic super cute love it very useful and then I have I'm gonna take out this tissue paper because I had it for display purposes only so that the items wouldn't sink to the bottom of the box. And so I'm going to move this out the way so you guys can see the box and the extra little wands that I made. So I made some wands. Now these, if you look in here, I covered the box up with the paper. Can you see the the gorgeous, see I told you that was my favorite, like I wish I would have printed more sheets but it is super cute. I layered the box. I created the box with some white card stock and some chipboard. Then I layered the box with the pattern paper. And then I um, I have this, this uh, piece of rolled chipboard in here to add height so that I can stick the items out so that it'll look like a full loaded exploding box. And then I made some um, wands so they are glued down there. So this will permanently stay up where I want it to stay. So the elements just stick all in there like so. So I used her hearts. These are hearts from her collection. and But I used them to uh, top the straws as a topper. And then look at this one here. I love it. Um, she has, these are actually the card toppers to the hearts that opened up. I believe these are the, the card, um, the elements that go on top of the cards. So you can make a cute little Valentine card. But um, I added a rosette. How thick that is. 
I added a rosette that I created from the paper collection, just scored the paper at a quarter of an inch all the way around. And I added some of the I Am Roses uh, gardenia and then some more little flowers from my stash, some eyelash trim, some of those pearls from Wild Orchid Crafts. Super cute, stickled everything up really nicely and I love it. I love this wand. Now the recipient can take this off. It's really, it's long so they can just take that piece off and use it in whatever they want to use it in if they don't want to keep the box. So yeah, like I said, I handmade the box and I added this beautiful trim that I got from my Facebook friend, Cheryl. I don't have any more of that left, so that's the end of that. Um, and then I added some lace around all the sides here. And then that's where I added the gold trim. This is an applique that I had in my stash. It has some beads hanging from it, but I just cut those off, save those for another time, and then just use that as the center of my box. Of course, some more of the pearl beads going around the bottom and the top. And this is the back. So I added some more of that um, foil trim on the back super cute guys so um you guys check out this paper like i said look at the bicycles on here that's one of my second favorites so this one's my first first and then that one would be my second favorite i love those bicycles um but check out the paper collection at um louisa's shop and you will absolutely love it it's a valentine paper but i think it's gorgeous and you can use it anytime especially if you are a shabby crafter um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of you all. If you haven't seen yesterday's video of the winners of the six days of giveaways that I had, please check it out. You may be a winner. And um, I will leave all that good stuff in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like the video. I know you guys are out there. Like the video. Let me know you like it. And leave a comment. Let me know what you think. All right, guys. Until next time. Bye.